Hi guys, welcome to another Dead Good Walk. Today we're in Oxenhope at Lower Town Old Burial Ground. Now this one's a bit different, um, half of it's abandoned and half of it's cared for. This bit in here is looked after by a trust or something. And then it's divided by this road, or cut in two by this road. And then the abandoned sections up here through, through this uh, shrub. It is here somewhere. Ah, there we go. We're in. Amelia, I think that says. Oh, look at this one. It's huge. Lovely old railings there. Look at that. It's incredible, isn't it? John Feather, Ash Street, Oxen Hope. Part of his old railing. Joseph Pickles, I think that said. Hannah and John. Can't read that, I think it says Harry. William Sunderland. God, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. Trees absolutely everywhere. Bernard Hartley. Joseph. So this for Thomas Parker. Clearly a music lover. Got a carved figure there with a harp, I think it is. Wow. Where am I going next? John Wright and Sarah. There's a lot of railings in here, it's incredible. Let's see if I can get through this bit. But no, I'll go around. John Feather. Ernest Hopkinson. That's a strange colour algae on there. Hartley Whitaker. Squeeze past this bit. Mary Jane. Oh, that's squashed into it there. Jonathan Shackleton Oh look at the detail on that one, I'm going to have to have a look at it I can just step over these graves Oh look at the carving of the grapes on that Wow look at that Crazy I'm not standing on where the bodies would be, don't worry. I don't know what's happened there to that one with it all piled up. Big hole at the back. That's a mix of everything, isn't it? Let's 
we'll have a closer look. There's definitely more than one gravestone in there, isn't there? Oh, look at that down there, Sarah. We'll remember you, Sarah, don't worry. Frank. Oh, look at this. This is a owner's grave. This is the first one I've seen. So someone would purchase a plot and then put an owner marker on it to save it for the future, but obviously they never used it. Must have been buried somewhere else. Uh, very much doubt he's still alive. Oh, look at that. Look at the railing there. Trees just consumed it totally. Sarah Elizabeth. Can't really read any of these. So someone has been here, look, trying to chop the trees down to manage it a bit. I wonder if they're just going to start to um, clear this one out, like the one across the road. Yeah. Oh, I've got someone watching me there. See a little uh, nosy Karen? Probably just looking after the area, to be fair to her. George Arthur. Some really impressive monuments in here, it's a shame they're all uh, covered up. There's an old gate there, the way in. Let's see if we can have a look at this. Big one. William Waterburn, maybe. I have to watch my foot in here, there's all sorts of holes everywhere. Ellen. John Crabtree of Bank Nook Oxenhope. Another Mary there through the tree. Charles Rushton. Richard Shackleton. I get through there. Let's check this big one out. Claire William Hannah Crabtree. Mary Ann, wife of George Hopkinson. says Featherton. God, this is crazy. To step over these. I'm just trying to stand where the bodies wouldn't be on the very edges. Oh, this wasn't a good idea to come this way.
Look at that, there's just so many, isn't they? All forgotten about, nobody cares anymore. stuck Martha Holmes that's it for that one go and have a look at the other side now if I can get out a bit of history about this place online. Um, a property property developer wanted to turn the burial ground into a car park and um, the trustees of it now managed to buy it and um, apparently they're all descendants of people that are buried here and they're, and they're looking after it now so that's a good thing. They, they really will try and build houses anywhere these days won't they? Absolutely no respect for anybody it's all about money. Um, so I'm not really sure where the chapel used to be. I'm guessing it's where one of these new houses are now. We've got Anne, daughter of James and Mary Whaley, or Wally. What's that say? Feather. Feather Ogden. Age six when he died. Poor fella. Anne Utterly. We've got a couple of old boys there, peeking over the fence. God, my shoes are absolutely soaked in this long grass. Joseph Sunderland. Timothy Feather. And one last one. Sarah Bins, age six months. Just cross this road without getting run over. Well, I think I'll wrap this one up now, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.